Good morning, everyone. For those of you, for those of you that don't already know me, my name is Eve Paris, and this morning I'm going to tell you all about my confirmation journey. Before I go right into that, I would like to thank Daryl, Marg, my family, the congregation, and most of all, my mentor, Marilyn. She's been so supportive, and I don't know how I could have gotten this far without her. She's made confirmation so much fun, and I'm so grateful to have her here to help me. So I'm going to explain my confirmation journey through a series of metaphors about my unicycle. At the bottom is the wheel. The wheel represents the earth spinning, while all of the spokes represent the people of the world coming together and all being connected in the middle. Next is the frame. To me, the frame represents this church. The church has been supporting me not only through my confirmation journey, but ever since the first day I set foot in Sunday school. I was scared, but they made me feel welcomed and loved. The church has a very important role in our community, to teach, to nurture, to support, to love, and to welcome everyone. The church is like the frame because things wouldn't be as easy if, without something to hold you up. And finally, there's the rider. That's where not only me, but all of us come in because we are the riders of our own unicycles. We are the riders of our own paths. Sometimes we wobble and fall down, but you just have to get back up and try again. Don't be afraid to use the wall to push off sometimes. To me, God is like a unicycle. He is the earth, he is the people, he is the church, and he is in all of us. God is our creator, God is our transformer, God is our teacher, God is our leader, God is our protector, and God is our lover. God loves us each and every one of us despite our flaws. God loves us no matter who we are, or where we come from, or where we are in our journey through life. But God is not the only inspiration in the Bible and in this world. Another is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus was human and divine. He preached about the kingdom of God. Jesus was so inspiring because his ministry was all about helping the poor, the needy, and the less fortunate. Everyone has a chance to be like Jesus, forgiving, faithful, inspiring, healing, caring, and loving. There is a speech that was once given at KCC that I will never forget. It was, a community is just one big family. The church would be called Kensington Family Church, but the name KFC was already taken. <laughs> now that was one of the most clever things anyone had ever come up with, and I completely agree with that statement. In the end, we are all just one big family. There's one last thing I would like to talk about, the afterlife. I know it isn't something we like to think about very often, but we have to consider it sometimes. My belief is that there's room in heaven for all of us. You have to work at least a little bit to get there, but in the end, that's where we'll all end up, even those who may not deserve it as much. This is because we are all God's people, and we all have an important role in this world and in the afterlife. Death gives meaning to life because of the finite amount of time that we have on this earth, so we cherish it. We are created for a reason, and that is God's intention. Death isn't a punishment, it just happens. And something I would like to add, does anyone else think the UCC symbol looks like a unicycle? <laughs> I'm just saying. 